casting Mike Shirley is just sort of reflective of how we really got the right people for the role and magic happened. Whenever we first started Twitchy, we kind of made a couple fan films just to practice. And I had had a fake poster printed and he was like, oh, you have to tell me about this thing. It was a Batman movie we've made. He just got real interested. And so when we came up with the script for Funny Books, I was like, you know, I don't know if the guy's an actor. I don't know what he can do, but let's at least invite him in. So I let him read this, the script and he was real, real interested. So we bring him in and he reads the, uh, the role perfectly. Every line delivered had its beat. And, and it's not like we wrote the part for him because in all reality, his character is kind of a jerk and, and Mike's the nicest guy in the world, but he just got it. And one of the things that we had done on the audition sheet, we, we did a, quest, a question and answer. I'm trying to figure out like who can work in a micro-budget system when you're working on deferred pay. Who can, who's truly in it for the project as opposed to in it for something more superficial. And one of the questions is, who would you rather be, Superman or Batman and why? And so Mike had written that I would rather be Superman. I want to be the person people look to and want to be like. And anybody that tells you differently is a liar. So I really liked the answer. And, you know, we, he left the audition. And as I'm walking him out of the space, he's like, I've never wanted anything more than I want this. Uh, and that's what Mike did. He led the charge. To this day, he's still, this movie's been seen in three countries because of this guy. He, he's on message boards. If you liked Watchmen, you should check out this movie. Uh, and so, if I had to castellate the entire shooting of Funny Books into one, into two words, it'd be Mike Shirley.